Hey, let me try. I don't even know. Dun, 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 dun. Hi. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you? I guess that's better. Phone needed charging. Okay. Pardon? That's okay. My phone needed charging. No I was Hi, going so, the whole day. Do I have to put mine to charge right before we started? Yeah. Well, so I'm gonna see. That's a I have to make sure. Let's hope it lasts. It should. Yeah. It's about thirty. It should it's last. Better. It's okay. better. I just saw that, mommy. I, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is just we're just going to give people probably another minute or two before we get started. Um, welcome everyone. Hi, Coachman, and hi, Crystal. How is everything going with you all? Hey, Taito. Yeah, so how was your day? You asking me that question? It was, let's say it was productive. That's good. It was productive. Let's, let's look at it that way. I just broke my nail though, so I'm very upset about that. I think you'll survive. <laughs> Hopefully, I will. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Right, so as I said before, everyone, we're just going to give other people just about one more minute before we get started because I want to maximize on the time that we have. How was your day? My day was interesting. It was it was somewhat productive as well, but trying to manage the online school and the board three-year-old and <laughs> and the task it was a little tough today I must say well welcome I'm glad she invited you and I hope you enjoyed the session who's that um coachman coachman that has to be Gabriel Gabriel yeah hi Shannon all right, so you might see me switching. Well, I have my computer up in the background, and I got some papers on the table. My book. So I'll be switching between different things throughout the course. But here we go. All right, so welcome to Make It Happen with Chamara, the interview series. This is episode three, and... For those of you who've never been before, um, the purpose of this is to offer views, strategies, and stories to encourage and inspire women to tap into their inner being, to embrace who they are, dream bigger, dig deeper within, and take big bold actions in alignment with their goal in order to live their dream with love, joy, and confidence. Now, my name is Chamara Hollingsworth, and what I do <clears throat> is I work with women to help them to find their true core, embrace their self-worth, and chart a clear path to their dream. And the business that I work for, or my business, is Vision to Reality International. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, 
Today I have with you Ms. Shauna Marshall. So Shauna is a business planning and strategy consultant who partners with business owners and employers to identify, develop, and execute their professional ideas. After spending numerous numerous years working in business development for startups with young entrepreneurs, Shauna knows what truly drives a success in business. How well you connect with your purpose and communicating that understanding to satisfy your people. Um, Shauna is the lead consultant of SMB Consulting Services, which works hands-on with business owners in transitioning and structuring their business processes as they seek to level up. Shauna holds a Bachelor's of Science in Management and is moving forward to pursuing her Certified Management Consultant qualification. Now, I would have met Shauna years and years and years ago, um, and I actually got the opportunity to get to know her throughout different areas of life. I would have first met her um, when I first started my business working in an organization which helps um, businesses to develop and grow. And she uh, was able, she was in a position to allow for me to get a number of opportunities to experience what it was like to do trainings and to be a part of a business network. Um, and then later down, I discovered that my mother knew her through another place she works. And then, um, that's so true, yeah. And also, I found out she's family. How interesting. Yeah. Um, but one thing I've known about Shauna over the years, or I've gotten to know about Shauna, is that she is one of the most fun loving, hard working people that I have ever met. And that's a combination that I think is needed in, in this lifetime. Right? So, welcome, Shauna. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so before we go any further, I just want to let everyone know that you can feel free to ask questions or make any comments throughout the course of the interview. Um, at different points, we'll be checking in just to see what comments or questions there are, and then um, we'll ask them and, and have that discussion at that time as well. All right, so Shauna, before we, before we go any further, the first thing we're going to do is a game. And it's, this game is called This or That, right? So it's like a rapid fire choices type of game. And so I'm gonna ask you questions and whatever, I'm gonna say two words. And whichever word you prefer is what you're going to say. And you're going to say it as quickly as possible so we can move on to the next one. Right? So, for instance, if I say night or day, what's your favorite between the two? Which one comes to mind first? Mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite between the two? Night. Okay. But, so, you kind of got the idea. So, I'll be doing that. So, okay. cat or dog? Cat. Purple or orange? Purple or orange? Mm -hmm. uh, purple. Burger or wrap? Burger with old veg. Party. <laughs> Party or movie? Yo, I mean, I will say, I think I'm going to say movies now. <laughs> movie. Uh, I see. Mm. I, I think I'm up to that age too. Um, heels or flat? No, again, flats. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so beach or pool? Beach? Yeah, beach. My friend for the sea, but beach. Sand. Sand. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Water for me. Um, <laughs> actual book or Kindle? YouTube. All right, yes, she, she and Arita. I could see it. All right. So, <laughs> companies with or without raisins? With raisins. Thank you very much. 
three. Cool. All right, so let's jump into our first question. What was the brilliant, audacious, dynamic dream that inspired you to start this business? So, um, I guess it was a case where there were so many different factors. I would say it first started when I was working at an organization and I realized that there are some simple things, what we would think as simple <laughs> um, in terms of structure, in terms of things that can be done around the place to make it you know, simpler or more effective. And it seems so simple to me and it's like they're not seeing the point. Um, mm -hmm. at that time until they heard, right? But then afterwards too, that went in line with when it would have been at UE mm -hmm. and in the course, um, I think it would have been management at the time. And when I'm hearing things that my lecturer is saying, I'm like, yeah, that makes so much sense. But at this place of organization, it's like, they're not seeing that. So from mm -hmm. there, it's like, okay, I think I like this in terms of talking to persons about their business, but that that was just a small, small thing because that was a long time ago. Um, since then, it would have been, it would have been. I don't know how I fell into business development. Um, I fell into it literally, doing business development. And again, what seems simple to me, and that's why I realized that everybody has their own purpose. But because what seems simple to me, I realized that persons felt good hearing it from me. And so while I would be mm -hmm. saying something, it's like, it's, it's basic. Um, persons did not see it from the perspective that I had. So I realized that I look at things differently to persons mm -hmm. with, in terms of businesses. And then, so I was going along that line of enjoying it. Mm -hmm. But I bought upon a mentor. And you know him. I think you know who I mean to. I bought upon a mentor who is now my personal mentor on a, informally. And... He, I think he kind of set me up though. He told me, you know, Shana, you're good at this. You know, you can really, and I'm like, I'm young. I'm so young. I can't do it. I'm not even finished school yet. And, stuff. Mm -hmm. and he was pushing me and I'm like, nah. And then he set me up. He set someone, he sent someone there um, to hear from me and, and got good feedback. And I did not know until afterwards. And then I realized, mm -hmm. okay, okay, maybe, maybe I should go with it. I just got a really good passion, a really deep passion for businesses in the whole and helping persons grow and, and bring structure to their business. Okay. <clears throat> nice. One of the things that you would have mentioned is that one of the first organizations you worked for they didn't seem to, um, I guess, line up with what some of the things that you would have learned while you were at school. Welcome to everybody who would have joined. Hi, Vanaset. Welcome. Um, and just a reminder, feel free to ask questions at any point throughout the course of the interview. But, okay, so one of the things you would have mentioned was that, um, I guess, misalignment, so to speak. Um, how do you find, or do you find that there's a massive difference between the theory that we would learn in school and the practical, the things that actually happen in the workplace, so to speak, as it relates to business? Um. <clears throat> yes because okay so when we are in school we, we kind of have a setting almost for the perfect world mm -hmm. uh, so we will have we will be given a scenario and based on theories we are taught to face a scenario based on a theory but when you get into the world I mean to the world of work it's like okay that's one scenario but it gets deeper and it mm -hmm. continues to get deeper so um, while you may have the theory as a foundation, you still need to be um, aware of what is really happening in the world, what is happening in business, new trends, um, all these things you have to be up to date with of what is currently happening so that you mm -hmm. can use your initiative to merge the two and create a solution for the problem that you may be working with at the time, the challenge that you may have. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what was what would you say? I mean, you know, you gave the backdrop about you know what inspired you, but what really was your aha moment to really get going? 
um, <laughs> in your business? Man, it was unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I realized I was unemployed today. I still have people to feed and I have responsibilities. So let me just use what I have That's and do what enough. I know and get going. <laughs> I, I actually fully, well, I understand fully. Um, okay, yeah. so <laughs> what makes you so passionate about what is that you do, though? Pardon? What makes you so passionate about what it is that you do? Um, no, when you when I see the faces of persons, or when persons can call me and tell me that worked, or they're making more money, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. that's a big one for me. Um, uh, Shana, what you did for me, you showed me something, and it worked, and now I'm making a, lots of money. Hey, mm -hmm. um, so hearing that that feedback from persons. And knowing that what I'm saying or what I'm doing with them really works, that that literally drives that passion for me. Uh, I always loved business for some reason, always loved it, but my I just love to hear hear that feedback. I know that persons are really doing a lot better um, from our conversations. Okay. Um, Hi, so... Daddy. <coughs> okay. So then. Just talking back a bit, one of the things you mentioned was that um, part of the reason or you're defining that or how moment was the fact that you were you found yourself in a position where you were unemployed and you had the mouse to feed and bills to pay. Oh, how do you find yourself balancing um, motherhood and being an entrepreneur, a female entrepreneur? I always tell people it's, it looks cute, but it ain't cute. It doesn't feel <laughs> It looks real good, you know, you're a mommy and you're doing this and, and woohoo to you, but I'm telling you, it does not feel cute. It is craziness. Um, mm -hmm. Balancing it, I don't think, I, I, I don't know if there's a way to do that, um, but I do what I can every day and I make sure that everybody is happy. So um, one way I can tell you for sure, for sure is that I don't do that thing of working on Sundays. That is mm -hmm. literally for my children because I know during the week is it is just long, long hours. Um, and so well I of course they get me at night. No. Well they get me mm -hmm. at night, I made it known that definitely on Sundays. My friends actually do not even contact me anymore on Sundays because they know that that is a day that is right up for my children. Apart from that, I I had to cut I had to make it uh a priority to cut some stuff on evenings mm -hmm. and I have set times for me where I I act as though SMB is really my employer. So SMB I may own it but I, I have hours. My hours mm -hmm. I have a particular type of hours and this is when I do work for SMB. And so I had to bring myself into a, a, a real serious place to get that done um, because mm -hmm. I was literally losing myself and I'm not finding time to do anything at all. But I can't say that I really balance, that I have a balance. <laughs> Fair enough. So I guess be better, the better word here would be management. Something. <laughs> I do <will> something. <laughs> I think uh, it's good that, that you were able to set some level of boundaries. Yeah. And I think it's important that we create boundaries. I actually struggle with that myself because sometimes I get really caught up with the, the work. And... Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. You have you know? to. You have to. <laughs> um, okay. So... <laughs> my brain. I just lost my train of thought. My apologies. All right. So before we go on, I just want you to mention a few of the services you do. And then I want you to expand on what your step out and step up coaching program is about. And the reason I want you to do this is because um, I want everybody to know that one of the, the prizes for this evening is a 50% discount on Shauna's Step Out and Step Up program. And another prize is actually a book that I wrote called Step Up. And I only realized just now that both of them have any word Step Up. 
right? <clears throat> um, but I, I have a book called Step Up, and I'm giving away a copy of that book at the end of the program today, along with Shauna's giving away a 50% uh, discount on her Step Up and Step Out and Step Up coaching program. So tell us a little bit more about that program, Shauna. So with that program, um, <clears throat> that had a funny a funny way of coming around. Mm -hmm. I I aim to I decided to go into business to deal with persons or to work with persons who would have already been in business for at least three years, mm -hmm. um, and more. I'm looking to bring structure, expand, expand their business, and I I wanted to do it in a case like that because I did not ever want it to come across that the organization which I was with last would have been in any ways competition. Um, so I was fight, fighting hard. They deal with startups. So I was fighting hard not to really work with startups. However, mm -hmm. um, startups were, were following me like, like crazy. And I am not going to turn them away. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. um, so I, I created a program that would have been more suitable for them, price range as mm -hmm. well. And that was to help them uh, or assist, well, guide them in using their initiative as well to get their businesses started and get it to a place that they would have liked it to be in within that first two years of their business life. Um, so that is really what Step Up and Step Up is about. Guiding, coaching, leading, and, and working with you, helping you set goals, help when you you set your goals and we we work together to find ways for you to meet those goals um it's a three month program um and through that you have we have meetings bi weekly and we you have unlimited support in, in terms of email in terms of whatsapp um you call me something comes up you can send me a message i answer and we we are basically working together for you to to be in a proper position after that three months. Okay. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> you may seem to be coming out a little cool. But there. You. All right. right there. <laughs> <laughs> what bold and decisive action did you choose to take to get up and running or to get on track in your business? Want bold and they say, um, bold. One is that you got me on camera, you got me on live. I mean, <laughs> congratulations to you, <laughs> right? Um, and that is one that I was running from for a long time. I, I don't like the camera, I don't like talking mm. in front of the camera. I, I rather sing. Um, so I, I prefer to work behind the scenes, uh, mm. but I had to make that step of persons want to see who is behind SMB, um, persons want to hear from me, and so I have to slowly make that change and, and show my face a bit more. Persons can hear from me directly or see who it is behind the scenes and and get closer to the, to the face of SMB. Fair enough. I actually have similar issues, so I understand fully. Um, yeah. I don't like the camera either. No, but it works. Eh? <laughs> yeah. It's working. It works. All right. So, so well, I, okay. Let me not answer. I asked something very similar to that before. So, would you say you had to make any major shifts in your perspective in order to to take this action? I, sorry, I was shaking. Pardon me. <laughs> Uh, did you have to make any major shifts in your perspective in order to take the action to start your own business, would you say? Um, it was just the fact that I had to get get rid of... I, I literally was limiting myself um, of being young and not... And, and not I would have been my last year at UV. So I did not think that I was in a... I was well enough to, to run a business. I literally thought that persons would look at me and laugh. And that was my perspective on it. So, mm -hmm. and that's another reason why I started to hide behind the scenes when I first started, because I'm like this little this little girl. Um, but I had to change that perspective, and 
at the end day, I had to tell myself, you know what, I may be young, yes, but I think it's great that I have so much knowledge at such a young age. And so mm-hmm. I should be confident in that. And push- um, that is what I had to teach myself. And I became more confident um, in stepping out and stepping up um, to, to move forward in the business. How, how important do you see confidence, um, the role of confidence as a business owner? Extremely important. You are oh selling, you, you have to sell your business. And if you're not confident, then they won't be confident in getting that service from you. Um, mm-hmm. So you have to be confident about it first so that you can speak to me with confidence and assure me that um, your business is the right one for me. So you definitely have to have some confidence in that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's my, question, here's my next question then. So there are people like you and me you and I, um, who are very friendly in general, but very shy, you know, what advice would you give to persons like us to get them to really step out and step up in business? If you wanted to succeed, you have to work Pass your fears and just, and do like Nike and just do it. (laughs) Yeah. If you want it, you got to go and get it. You got to find ways to get it. So you have to step out and and get it done. Yes. Okay. So what would you say life was like for you five years ago versus how it is for you now? Five years ago is what, 2015, 2016? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, well, I was getting ready for baby number two, definitely. Um, my life five years ago would have been, I can say, would have been easier um, in terms of being simple mm-hmm. because the business would not have been there as yet. And I had that comfortable life of no responsibilities, or, or sorry, not many responsibilities, and having a job. Um, so I was, I was comfortable. Um, was I pursuing my dream? I can't really say that. So I think I'm still, while I may be tired now as we speak, I think I'm still enjoying it now because back then it was simple, but I wasn't doing what I really want to do or how I want Mm -hmm. to do it. So yeah, it's definitely better now. All right. So yeah, it's fair I, I I agree, um, and I think all of us can probably have share some experiences we've had. And Island Jam says, first accept that it's just a feeling, and can you overcome it logically speaking? So, can you overcome fear logically speaking? My my with my perspective, I I think you can. I believe you can. Um, Mm -hmm. because as you said, it's, it's a feeling and, um, and I, I am different when it comes to thinking of some things because I am a person who always look past and Mm -hmm. I always look for the better end. I'm very optimistic. And so for something like that, I would say that I can overcome it once I talk to myself, Mm -hmm. like I had to do, I was fearful. Um, Mm -hmm. you even know, even when you asked me to be on on this, I was fearful, but I'm like, (laughs) Come on, you you can't be still doing this all in motion. You've got to do something about it, right? Um, mm-hmm. So once you talk to yourself and put yourself in the right mindset, have the right persons around you to push you and encourage you as well, then I believe you can overcome it with time. <laughs> time and I perseverance. I think also, if I may add to that, um, one thing we need to consider is that overcoming fear does not mean that we need to be fearless. It just means that we need to face the fear and be courageous and, and move through it. Um, yeah. So that's something to consider. Um, a lot of people think that they need to be fearless, but fear has a role. Um, and it's not to stop us from doing things, but it's actually to make us consider some of the things that we need to do in order to grow. For so sure. That- yeah. Sure. Um, I think I fear not making it more so, so I push myself. 
How does that? Mm. Sound? <laughs> okay. I think, uh, well, <laughs> listen. I think it's so funny how fears can be so irrational in, in terms of how you analyze them because yeah. one of the things we started to realize over a period of time is that one of my biggest fears is actually success. Is like yeah, when it. I, I know I could do it, but then what happens when I get there? You know, ah. and then mm-hmm. the fear of the unknown. Pushing. You get there, you keep pushing. <laughs> exactly. Enjoy so, and push some more. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we're going to go into our next game, and this one, this one, is fill in the blank. Yes, I'm going to do the fill in blanks one for you. So what you're going to do now is you're going to pick three numbers between one and ten. And with each number you pick, I'll ask you a question and you'll end this you'll end the sentence. Okay. With your own in your own. Okay. So what's your first number? Three. Okay. So, my most rewarding experience so far was? <laughs> um, my most rewarding, I don't know, I have those times? <laughs> I'm you sure have you to do. beat me like that? Oh my goodness. Will you take the question? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There are many. Um, there would have been mm-hmm. completing school. There would have been, um, I mean, being in, in my, I can say achievement, being in business for three years and, and still doing well. Um, knowing that, knowing that we have a good, a good rate, success rate so far, a very good mm-hmm. one, close to 195 percent, I can say. Uh, and that's in terms of persons who would have been looking for finance and and then of course being a mummy and seeing those little mm-hmm. eyes when they're sleeping preferably but <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right. okay what's your next number I'm frightened I I no talk about fear and then um um seven <laughs> <laughs> loving myself mean love myself mean mm-hmm. um managing my 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 time one mm-hmm. um, being able to to appreciate myself and and being able to appreciate my own company alone um Taking the time out to to spoil myself. I sound like a single person. You can tell I'm single. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I literally literally find a happiness with yourself and and enjoy your own company. Okay. And pampering yourself in that too as well. With a movie and some popcorn and a glass of wine. Okay, cool. And what's your last number? Um, ten. <clears throat> My advice to women in business is: do it. Just do it. Forget. Forget. Put all the fears behind you, all the negative, all the negative things, all the I can'ts and you wants and all that, and just do mm-hmm. what you have to do to fulfill your dreams. Just go ahead and push for it. Step out and step up. We gonna call you Miss Nike just now. <laughs> all right. So, moving on. What is one change you had to make about yourself or your life in order to create the success that you see in your business today? Actually, what I just said, um, putting, putting those things behind you. 
I, I can't say that it was really, really much of a change. Like, it, besides putting those things behind me, um, reason being is because I was always, I am blessed, thank God, in such a way that I always had um, support of persons mm-hmm. around me that would push me. Um, so for me, while I would say, I would have been only me holding back myself because I have persons saying, yes, you can do it. So it was me saying that you can't and, and you want. So it was to make that change and, and, and really turn that around, really, yes, you can, yes, you can get it done. Okay. So the change is perspective um, mindset. Okay. So how important do you see support in being a businesswoman today? Um, it worth it. Sorry, you broke um, up just now. Oh, right. So I was saying it, it is important to have support. Mm-hmm. It helps a lot. Can you still hear me? Because I can see you loading. I can see you loading, but I can still hear you. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Right. So I was saying in support, I find it's very important. Um, it helps mm-hmm. a lot. And I think I think you can get um, pretty far in a in a good time span when you have support. However, if you do not have support, that does not mean that you cannot push. Right? Um, there are persons out there who who may not have support, but that does not stop you from moving forward. Support yourself for the time being until somebody decides to jump on a bandwagon. But I would not let external support stop me from from moving forward. Mm-hmm. So. What would you say to persons who do not have that support system and um, what I don't want to say use it as an excuse, but um, they don't have the support system, so they find challenges with actually pushing forward in in their business. Uh, How would you suggest that they handle a situation like that? Well, it depends on where where that support or how it's limiting them, but uh, Mm -hmm. I say work on you. Work on you. And be confident in yourself and what you're offering to the to the public. Um, I have that passion. It ha- it, you should have a passion with whatever you're offering. Once you have that passion, mm-hmm. that drive, that hunger, I mean, support or not, you you driving down the road. So it's a matter mm-hmm. of working on you and finding your passion, what you're so hungry about, and, and letting that merge together and, and just push, 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 push. Okay. And do it. Um, one of the things that came to mind for me just now is, um, as a as a mother, sometimes if you feel like you don't, you're having some challenges, you might need to find or you can look at finding ways that you can involve the children in the business. It depends, obviously, on the age group for the children as well, right? <laughs> um, and the type of business that you have, obviously. But like for instance is an opportunity where you can teach uh, an older child about running a business and have them take on certain admin roles. Um, If it's like, for instance, um, a business in food, how can younger children assist with the preparation or clean up in the process so that they're learning some disciplines as well and that's also helping out with the business. So some... Well, my, mine yeah. aren't there, but mine certainly, I mean, my three-year-old, oh, he's four now, sorry. He, he he sets the table. When we are, Shante, my daughter, mm-hmm. she is in the kitchen helping me certain certain ways in cooking. And he knows to put mm-hmm. on mats. That's, and that's very simple that he can do. Put on the mats that we can that we can come and sit down and eat. So including them definitely helps. Um, And it pushes them that later on they can be of assistance, even if in the business. I'm not going to force them. But they can be also mm-hmm. assistance with within the business as well, which can help cut down on, on the the trouble that you are the, the workload you may have. Yep. <clears throat> That's true. Too. I, I actually mm-hmm. Pardon? Continues. Continue. Right, and while while saying that, if you can find there are persons up there who may also be willing to assist you. I mean, I have two guys. Um, Roger and Justin, who 
really help out a lot with the business because I I had to get some assistance. It was it was the work was here, and I'm sure the work was tall, right? And and I definitely had to reach. I had to speak to myself and say, you know what, I have to accept and honor to the fact that I cannot do it on my own anymore. Mm-hmm. And I found a way to to work with them and include them in the business as well. It helps. I'm- I'm actually very glad that you said that. So, all right, what would you say to persons who went there, there to the point where their business is now going beyond what they ever imagined or beyond what they, they believe they can handle, um, but they might not have the, or they might not believe they have the financial stability to hire a person to help out in the business? How would you suggest that they go about doing something like that? Um, there are there are some persons at institutions in college, BCC and SJPA and UE. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, they may still need a stipend at the end of the week or something that to assist them, whether it be bus fare or just to give them some something to show some value for their mm-hmm. work, but. Um, in case, in terms of not being financially strong, you may not be financially strong to hire, actually take on some person, but there are persons that will be able to do part-time, and you can look at it as, it can be internships, one. Uh, mm-hmm. When they're not leaving those schools, they are looking for a work experience. That's the only way they can get jobs. So they are looking for some work experience, and you can do it as an internship. Um, they can come on part time, and you give them a stipend at the end of the at the end of the week or at the end of two weeks. Okay, that helps you and it helps them. Mm-hmm. Agree. Okay, so what's your definition of success? Did you check Oxford? <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> I know your definition. <laughs> <laughs> um. Being, being, just being happy with what you're doing, being happy in yourself. Um, you said it, be you and do you, being you, doing you. So mm-hmm. I, yeah, I mean, just, just being happy at what you're achieving, at what, at what you're accomplishing. And once you still have that drive to get up and, and do what you need to do, make another step. I mean, I, I, I consider every day that you that you work and be productive like at what at your achieving your goals. I consider that success. Mm-hmm. So we achieve bits of success every day. I, okay, I like that. We do, and sometimes we don't see it, but we, we need to see it more. Yeah, if we see yeah. it more, we can then we can really work towards that big success. Enjoy every little bit of of thing that you do many days to come. Okay. All right, so my last question as it relates to this, and if anybody has any questions, again, feel free to ask. Okay, just peep in back. Um, So what kind of changes would you say you had to make in your relationships? And that could be a relationship with family members, with your children, with yourself. What kind of changes did you have to make in your relationships in order to see a shift in your business? It was mainly myself. Mm-hmm. I had I had I have a great relationship with my family already. Lovely. Um, a beautiful relationship with my family, my parents, my brothers, my sister in law that I call my sister. Um and then um, my children, I had I had to st- strengthen that because there was a mm-hmm. point in time where I realized I was doing focusing more on my work, and so they weren't getting a chance to see me. Um, so I had to one cut down on some stuff and two include them in some not work not including to work but including my studies, um, so that they we can still get that time to be together. The whole time is driving mm-hmm. the car, going to my next stop. You know, we get to talk, we get to sing, we get to play, and so on. So I had to strengthen my, I realized I was losing that, and I had to strengthen my relationship with my children. 
but the biggest relationship change was with me definitely mm-hmm. me um i had to i had to really appreciate myself more and, and just and realize that i can get things done and in doing that i also had to take care of myself where like i said i had to at night so when i'm finished with you i may do our work or so but i'm telling mm-hmm. you later on is a Tyler Perry movie and some popcorn and i'll probably do water tonight but some nights i let my glass of wine <laughs> yes and once mm-hmm. you do that i find that i feel refreshed i feel mm-hmm. refreshed so the next day i'm ready i'm all ready to go again mm-hmm. okay my brain no more questions are going to come but at this time <laughs> no problem what we are going to do is we're going to do the giveaway. So, in terms of the giveaway for the Step Up and Step Out, 50% off the Step Up and Step Out coaching program, can anybody tell me one of the things that Shauna said that she does when she is, in terms of self-love, one of the things that she does to take care of herself? I think she said it like twice, at least. Mm-mm. Watching. <laughs> my crowd real slow today. I don't know what happened. But while we wait, or on a response, and then we will, t- we will decide if we need to ask another question. Um, so one thing that Shauna said that she does when it comes to taking care of herself, and you could be the winner of 50% glass of wine and Tyler Perry movies. So Musings by Jeremy has won herself a 50%. I feel like she just knows me so well already. And we just met. <laughs> oh, she has to mention glass of wine, right? Just mention mm-hmm. a glass of wine and a prayer movie, and you know me. You just know me. We're best friends. Right. <laughs> so, I, I've written down your name, and Shauna uh, will be in contact with you after the session so that y'all can arrange to have your praise, or at least arrange to, to, for that del- delivery of your praise. And then, what we're going to do now is if you want to win, I didn't even think about what we should ask people. Okay, so if so, for the giveaway for the step up, one copy of the book Step Up, I want somebody to tell me what support means to you so when having support while you're in your business means to you we mean well shauna yes how do you keep motivated i look at my bills Mm -hmm. you look at your bills That's one way. Mm-hmm. Um, how do I keep motivated? I, I like knowing that I did well. And so mm-hmm. I like, I am one of those persons that I'm, I'm motivated hearing it from somebody else that, that I did well. And so knowing that I can help somebody, every time I hear somebody say that, you know, they, they were able to achieve something or get to the next step, mm-hmm. that is motivation for me to get, to keep pushing. Mm-hmm. That I pay my bills. Okay. Hmm. So nobody wants this book, but that's right. One thing, tell me one thing that makes you or what was the question I asked, Shauna? No, the last time I talk. What does it mean to be supported in business? Uh, how would you like to be supported as a business person by the people around you? 
this girl gonna for all these praises. I see it. For Musings by Jeremy, for me, it's having people who can keep me accountable. And it's also that extra push to keep going and hopefully inspiring others along the way. I actually agree. Um, that's, that's one of the ways that we definitely need support because one of the things that people can do very well is procrastinate and need people to help keep you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> and yes we definitely need people to keep us on our toes and people that understand what is going on with us and won't pull you down because um, there, there are a lot of people who in their wanting what's best for you might tell you things that are not necessarily encouraging and it's not that they're trying to be cruel to you or be negative to you but they're, they just don't see things the way that you do so you need to be able to surround yourself by persons who will keep you going and give you that push, you know, to just get things going. And the funny thing is that sometimes those people come from, you, you don't even know, you've never met these people before, but they're more encouraging than some people that you, you've known entirely. Um, yeah. yeah. Actually, I, I would actually even say Shauna is a good example. Uh, when I was doing the Divas That Dazzle. Yeah, Shauna was actually there for all of my Divas That Dazzle, behind the scene. Um, <laughs> I know, I just realized that, but yeah, she's been behind the scenes for, for, for every one of them. Um, and she might not have been like heavily involved in each and every one, but every year in January, Shauna's be like, so... <laughs> Who we get for Diva that Dazzle this year? You understand? So it's really good to have those people because sometimes there are people that you you don't necessarily expect, but they will come and they will come and tell you something to really trigger you and get you going. So Janelle, musings. You have won yourself one copy of Step Up, and I will get that to you tonight. Okay? Ooh. And for anybody else who might be interested in a copy of the book step up it can be found on my website for 12 barbados dollars or six us dollars and you can also be able to get a complimentary copy by joining the newest um program that i have which is a membership program called the dynamic diva club so once you join the dynamic diva club which is 20 barbados dollars a month um you will get to participate exclusively in Diva Discussions. You'll get a complimentary ebook, which is the Step Up. Um, you'll get a 10-day self-love challenge, which is actually a part of the 30-day self-love challenge book that I have, which is Be You, Do You, Love You. Um, you'll get weekly motivation and special membership discounts and offers. So if you're interested, you can also find the link to that in my bio or feel free to do DM me to ask me any questions about any of those things. And congratulations. Okay. Before I congratulate you now, thank you. Because I don't want the time to go, go down without me thanking you. Thank you for being a part of this program tonight. I really enjoyed interviewing you and it was very insightful. I want to thank everybody who came out to support and listen in. And thank you for your interaction as well. And congratulations to Musing by, Musings by Jeremy. Thank you, Richard Goes Academy. She says the club sounds awesome. Thank you. Um, congratulations, Jay, for winning both the 50% discount on the Step Out and Step Up program by SMB Consulting, which is Shauna. And Ready balloons. Girl, I don't have to learn how to work out these things, but if I could figure it out, I'll <laughs> and congratulations on your free copy of the Step Up ebook. And everyone, I want well feel free at the end of this to follow consulting SMB or 
consult an SMB <laughs> or make it and make it happen with Chamara so that you can find out more about what we all have to offer throughout the course of this I have year. A question for you though. Can I mm -hmm. ask you a question too? You can't ask me the hard questions, but yeah, go ahead. So you mentioned something earlier about two seconds, five minutes, about a minute ago. So mm -hmm. it's January. So who we having for Diva Sat Dazzle this year? Mm -hmm. uh, you can talk. <laughs> I, I did that. Time to go this year, though. I did that on public for purpose. I know, but definitely this year we do. I if <laughs> her corporate it happening whether online or offline, but it's happening this year for sure. Y'all heard that? <laughs> yes, it happening. <laughs> But thank you everyone for joining us. I really enjoyed this session. Richard yeah. Gold's Academy is saying that she was too slow. But girl, <laughs> there'll be more opportunities, don't worry. Feel free, yeah. Right? So I wish you all a good night. And enjoy your well, for those of you in Barbados, enjoy your bank holiday tomorrow and the rest of your week as well. Thank you. Bye, enjoy everybody. I can't remember who to know. Oh. I was.